welcome to the Kidron Valley. This valley has had some significance during Bible history. We know Jesus crossed it multiple times during his ministry. King David had to cross it to save his life. And three kings used the Kidron Valley when purging Jerusalem from the idols of worship when recommitting the nation back to the worship of the one true God. But before we begin, let's take a quick look at the topography of the area to give you a better sense on where we are and what is around us. Here in the center is the Temple Mount, where the Jewish temple used to be, and where the Muslim Dome of the Rock currently is. To the east, you will find the Mount of Olives. To the south of the Temple Mount, we have the City of David, which was the actual location of ancient Jerusalem, both prior to and during the First Temple period. Southwest of the Temple Mount and the Old City, we have the infamous Hinnom Valley, also known as Gehenna or Gehenna. And just like the Kidron, there are times the Hinnom Valley played a role in biblical history, which I may do a short review on at some point in the future. And lastly, in between the Temple Mount and the Mount of Olives, we have the Kidron Valley. Even though the Bible history surrounding the Kidron Valley happened in a small location, the entire Kidron Valley actually stretches east to the Dead Sea for approximately 20 miles. Now let's dig into the Bible and see what happened here at the Kidron Valley. As I mentioned before, Jesus often went from Jerusalem to the Mount of Olives and vice versa. So that means he had to cross the Kidron Valley frequently. During Jesus' triumphal entry into the city, what we celebrate as Palm Sunday, he came down from the Mount of Olives, crossing the Kidron Valley while riding a donkey into the city. And right after the Last Supper, on the night of his betrayal, we know Jesus crossed the Kidron as he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was a garden, and he and his disciples went into it. And shortly afterward, Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he had to be escorted back through the Kidron Valley to get to Caiaphas' house, which was south of the Temple Mount. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. When King David had to flee from his son Absalom, he left the city, crossed the Kidron Valley, and climbed up the Mount of Olives. The whole countryside wept aloud as all the people passed by. The king also crossed the Kidron Valley, and all the people moved on toward the wilderness. Now, do you notice an interesting symmetry here? David left the city and crossed the Kidron Valley to save himself, his family, and those most loyal to him. After his arrest, Jesus was escorted across the Kidron Valley into the city in his final moments so that he could ultimately save us all by his sacrifice. Other times, the Kidron Valley is referenced in the Bible. Three righteous kings, Asa, Josiah, and Hezekiah, burned or threw down idols into the Kidron Valley that were set up in the temple or around Jerusalem during the reign of King Asa. Asa did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, as his father David had done. He expelled the male shrine prostitutes from the land and got rid of all the idols his ancestors had made. He even disposed his grandmother, Makkah, from her position as queen mother because she had made a repulsive image for the worship of Asherah. Asa cut it down and burned it in the Kidron Valley during the reign of King Hezekiah. The priest went into the sanctuary of the Lord to purify it. They brought out to the courtyard of the Lord's temple everything unclean that they found in the temple of the Lord. The Levites took it and carried it out to the Kidron Valley. During the reign of King Josiah, he took the Asherah pole from the temple of the Lord to the Kidron Valley outside Jerusalem and burned it there. He pulled down the altars the kings of Judah had erected on the roof near the upper room of Ahaz and the altars Manasseh had built in the two courts of the temple of the Lord. He removed them from there, smashed them to pieces, and threw the rubble into the Kidron Valley. Now, in the book of Joel, the Valley of Jehoshaphat is mentioned as a place where God will judge all the nations. I will gather all nations and bring them down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. There I will put them on trial for what they did to my inheritance, my people Israel, because they scattered my people among the nations and divided up my land. Some believe the Valley of Jehoshaphat is the same as the Kidron Valley. This belief, however, didn't begin until the 4th century AD. Maybe it is the same, maybe it isn't. But Zechariah chapter 14 does describe a final battle against all nations taking place outside the city of Jerusalem as the Messiah comes down on top of the Mount of Olives. So just like my previous 16 video reviews from around Israel, the Kidron Valley is another location where biblical history took place. I really hope you enjoyed this review, and in my next review, which will be controversial to those of the Muslim faith, I will be briefly reviewing the sealed eastern gate and what will happen when Jesus returns. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, God bless.